this lecture, we will review the basic foundations of child psychology. Child psychology is the scientific study of the behavior and development of the child from the time of conception, which is prenatal, to the beginning of adolescence. Child psychology deals not only with how children grow physically, but with their mental, emotional, and social development as well. At the present time, approximately 4% of all psychologists classify themselves specifically as child psychologists, with slightly more women than men in the field. Many others, however, are working in this general area, particularly educational psychologists, school psychologists, and clinical psychologists. The American Psychological Association has separate divisions for developmental, educational, clinical, and school psychology. Now, Historically, children were often viewed simply as smaller versions of adults. But today, psychologists recognize that child psychology is unique and complex, but many differ in terms of the unique perspective they take when approaching development. Experts differ in their responses to some of the bigger questions in child psychology, such as whether early experiences matter more than later ones, or whether nature or nurture plays a greater role in development. Because childhood plays such an important role in the course of the rest of life, it is little wonder why this topic has become such an important one within psychology, sociology, and education. Experts focus only on the many influences that contribute to normal child development, but also to various factors that might lead to psychological problems during childhood. Self-esteem, school, parenting, social pressures, and other subjects are all of tremendous interest to child psychologists who strive to help kids develop and grow in ways that are healthy and appropriate. Now, there are three major contexts that we need to consider in our analysis of child psychology. We have the cultural, the social, and the socioeconomic context. The culture a child lives in contributes to a set of values, customs, shared assumptions, and ways of living that influence development through the lifespan. Culture may play a role in how children relate to their parents, the type of education they receive, and the type of child care that is provided. In regards to social context, relationships with peers and adults have an effort on how children think, learn, and develop. Families, schools, and peer groups all make up an important part of the social context. Now, social class can also play a major role in child development. Socioeconomic status, often abbreviated as SES, is based upon a number of different factors, including how much education people have, how much money they earn, the job they hold, and where they live. Children raised in households with high socioeconomic status tend to have greater access to opportunities, while those from households with lower socioeconomic status may have less access to such things as health care, quality nutrition, and educational resources. Such factors can have a major impact on child psychology. Child psychology encompasses a wide range of topics from the generic influences on behavior to the social pressures on development. K 
Kendra Cherry lists the following. Cognitive development, environmental influences, gender roles, genetics, language, personality development, prenatal development, social growth, and sexual development. Child psychologists, for example, might look at which child care settings and practices leads to the best psychological outcomes, or they might work with kids to help them develop growth mindsets. Child psychologists may specialize in helping kids cope with specific developmental concerns, or they may take a more general approach. In either case, these professionals strive to help kids overcome potential problems and grow in ways that lead to healthy outcomes. Now, before diving into the core concepts of child psychology, in my next few lectures, we will first review the foundations of psychology and human development to include the major perspectives in psychology prenatal development and the birthing process. Also, what influences human behavior? Is it nature? Is it nurture or epigenetics? And then we will talk about cultural influences on human behavior.